Today, we're going to compare the static charge created when peeling a vinyl, also known as PVC base label, to one given off by a Teslin base label. The purpose is to demonstrate which label produces a lower static charge. We also want to see if either label can produce a charge of less than 12 and a half kilovolts. Remaining below this level is critical because that is the threshold at which a static charge can create an electrical spark. In Class 1 Division 1 or Class 1 Division 2 areas, such as a chemical or coatings plant, even a tiny spark has the potential to ignite a fire or cause an explosion if solvents or flammable gases are present in the atmosphere. Now we're ready for our test. On the left is a PVC-based GHS label, and on the right is a Teslin-based GHS label. To the left of each label is a humidistat. Above is a field testing meter for reading the static charge. The relative humidity is about 42% and the temperature is about 69 degrees Fahrenheit. After resetting the field testing meter to zero, we are ready to read the charge. Taking our reading from the label face stock, you could see that the PVC base label comes in at 13.27 kilovolts, a figure that is above the potentially dangerous 12.5 kilovolt threshold discussed earlier. The reading for the Teslin base label is negative 0.13 kilovolts. Not only is the charge generated by the Teslin base label lower than the 12.5 kilovolt threshold, it's also significantly lower than the charge created by the PVC base label. That proves that the Teslin base label is better at reducing the risk of fire from static discharge in solvent-based work areas. To learn more about PPG Teslin substrate base labels, visit teslin.com.